Time to honor the performances made in the virtual world. I tried. I tried to tell them. But they wouldn't listen to me. Damn them. Damn their eyes. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're going to be highlighting our picks for the top 10 voice acting performances in video games. Definitely more my style than Panama, or Hoboken, I guess. Just to be clear, this list will be focusing on performances from a single game, rather than looking at the best overall voice actors, because that's a list for another day. We're also sticking to one entry per franchise to prevent stacking. Ah, Ouija, you Super Mario. I did it. Way to go. Oh. Number one. Number 10, Rob Whitehoff as John Marston, Red Dead Redemption. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding to the vultures myself. Living with the guilt of his crimes and a troubled past, Marston struggles to rebuild himself as a changed man. If you left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. Wythoff's performance seamlessly and believably transitions between outlaw, mercenary, and even a loving father. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Number nine, Jen Taylor as Cortana, Halo 4. While Jen may have appeared as the blue vixen Cortana in previous games, it's her performance in Halo 4 that really shows off her acting range. I will not allow you to leave this planet! Cortana. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. As an AI breaking down into madness, Jen shows that even a computer program can portray emotion as she struggles to come to grips with her eventual fate. These people are gone. And more will follow if the Didact reaches Earth. They'll pair you with another AI. Maybe even another Cortana model if Halsey lets them. That's not going to happen. It won't be me. Number eight, David Hayter as Snake. Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. Can't get far onto a voice acting list without mentioning Snake, and the best work was done was when the one-eyed hero was in his twilight years. Snake, let's try another doctor. <laughs> it won't make any difference. I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox die. Despite this entry in the franchise having so much dialogue, Hater remained memorable throughout the entire franchise. I figured the only place I'd see you dress like that would be at your daughter's wedding. Oh, and by the way, to us, Snake will always be David Hater. No Hollywood actor could ever really replace him, as much as we love Kiefer Sutherland. You still have your youth. <laughs> Don't waste it. You can start over. Number seven, Aaron Stanton as Cole Phelps, L.A. Noir. Thanks to the motion scan technology, this is probably the best visual representation of a video game performance. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. As Cole Phelps, Aaron showed off a fantastic range as a detective dealing with the everyday drama of being on the force. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? You have a mother asshole, a sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? His performance is especially memorable because he can let loose at the push of a button. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No, 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 no. Number six, Mark Hamill as the Joker, Batman Arkham Asylum. Long after he hung up his lightsaber, Hamill went from portraying one iconic pop culture character to another. Welcome to the madhouse, Batman. I set a trap and you sprang it gloriously. Hamill may have first portrayed the Joker in the beloved Batman animated series, but it's his gaming performance that has earned him the most recent mainstream recognition as the terrifying clown prince of crime. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? 
beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. Number five, Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson as Joel and Ellie, The Last of Us. Okay, so we're kind of stretching the rules here a bit with these two people. What else did you get? Well, here. This make you all nostalgic? You know, that is actually before my time. <laughs> that is winter, though. But note that our criteria said one entry per game, not one person. With each of these two giving a fantastic performance, it's impossible to pick. Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? And you are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Not only do both Troy and Ashley give an amazing performance, but the chemistry between the two actors is the real strength as they struggle to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. Yeah. I shot the hell out of that guy, huh? Yeah, you sure did. <sighs> <sighs> I feel sick. And you just hang back like I told you to. Number four, Jennifer Hale as Commander Shepard, AKA Fem Shep, Mass Effect Trilogy. Jennifer is an incredibly talented voice actress, so getting her on the list is a no brainer. It's worth the stress to watch the people you're commanding come into their own though. Shut up. Who said I was talking about you? And without question, her most noteworthy performance is that of Commander Shepard throughout the Mass Effect trilogy. This is an incredibly difficult role to fill, as Hale had to believably deliver the same lines that the male version of Commander Shepard would, and sound badass doing it. You need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Not only does she outperform her male counterpart, but she truly breathes life into one of the most customizable characters in video game history. Wars brought us pain and suffering and loss. But it's also brought us together as soldiers, allies, friends. Number three, Michael Mondo as Voss, Far Cry 3. Mondo delivered a performance that ended up being so amazing that the character Voss ended up becoming the poster boy of Far Cry 3. Insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over again. Expected shit to change. That is crazy. Originally, the character didn't exist in pre-production, but Ubisoft loved Michael's audition so much that they created the character specifically for him. It was not enough for her. No, 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 please. You see, the thing about our loved ones, right? Our f***ing loved ones, they come and they fly inside you every f***ing time. So they say to me, they say, Voss, Voss, who the f***? Is it going to be them or me? Me or them? Michael went even further with the performance for a live action web series playing the psychotic slave trading pirate in real life. Chris, you haven't been flossing, huh? That's really bad, you know that, huh? Uh, Number two, Ellen McLean as GLaDOS, Portal 2. Transitioning from a full body performance to no body at all, we have GLaDOS. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. Bringing an emotional style to the computerized voice of a homicidal AI was no easy task. Yet Ellen's voice became the inseparable key ingredient to the portal formula. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye. Carolyn. So impressive was her performance that it caught the attention of a certain gamer known as Guillermo del Toro, who got the rights to use GLaDOS's voice in his film, Pacific Rim. Ready to activate the Jaeger in three, two, one. Before we get to number one, let's take a look at some other noteworthy performances. What is all this? They were watching me? All this time? Why? Why did they put me in here? What am I? What am I? May the rats eat your eyes! I am now lost to your cause! The darkness comes! 
It will kill us all! Hey. I owe you, C's. I gotta go tell Sweet about. Oh, f Sweet! Look, go get Kendall and take her to a safe place. What you thinking? It's sweet. I think him and the homies is walking into a trap. Huh? Come here, doggy. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> look, look, look. Who are you doing? Uh, thanks, my bro. Thanks, M Mario. Number one, Nolan North, Nathan Drake, Uncharted series. Taking the top spot on our list is the man who set new standards in voice acting with Nathan Drake. You overlooked one little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> with his performance from the motion capture while recording for a more authentic feel of the character, Nolan may have a large amount of roles in video game acting under his belt, but his most popular is by far his best. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage-taking type. Let's just go with best case scenario for now, okay? By the way, check out his profile on IMDb if you want to see just how many of your favorite games and cartoons he's been in. We defy you to not be impressed. Yeah, hello. So this is the key to everything. Yes, it is. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah! I have no idea, actually. Do you agree with our list? Who are your favorite video game voice actors? For more informative top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Only one problem. Right there. To be continued. I hate Cliff.